Joy and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to do a video on how to inlay a stone. I've got several requests for that so we want to cover that in our video today. Make sure if you have a question on something we're not covering, if it's something that I can show you, I'll be glad to do a video for you. So let me know on any request you may have. So normally we would start with our gourd unfinished. I happen to have a finished gourd today. It's kind of what I just had. But I even do it before I color it that way. If um, my Dremel knocks out, knocks some of the color off, you don't have to go back and replace that color. So make sure you're doing at the, that at the very beginning stages of decorating your gourd. So what you do is you take your stone, whatever size you want to use. Now remember if they're larger, your gourd curves and you're going to want to make sure that you can fit that in there. You do want to make sure that your gourd is a little bit thicker gourd. You don't want to do it on a real thin shell gourd because you don't want to break through the back. Now, if you break through the back, that's okay. You can cover it up or put click wood on it or different things like that. So there is ways to do it if you break through the back. So we want to take our stone and we want to trace our line as close to the stone all the way around as possible. And if you're just using a gourd that doesn't have any color on it, you can do that with a regular pencil. So we've got our little shape on and I'm going to be using my Dremel with my flex shaft. If you're working with a Dremel, this is definitely the way to go and I've got it hanging on a hook so it's easier to use. And I am using a carving or engraving bit and this one is 5 16 if not just a little bit larger and it's a round ball and this is one of my favorites and people have always been amazed how fast this will really take the gourd away you could use this one on the edges and use a flatter one in the middle as well um, to kind of smooth it off it would be a little bit easier but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with this one tool today so different people have different bits that they like it's really a personal preference or what you have so this is what I'm going to use and while I'm doing this I'm also going to wear my mask because you do have the particles in the air so we're going to see how well I can talk through this mask it doesn't seem to be too bad and I'm going to turn my Dremel on and I am going to turn it on high I hook around a little bit there so you can get this working a little bit easier. And you really want to position yourself because your Dremel can kick back on you. And we're going to start at that outside line, but you don't want to put it right on the outside line. You want where the top would be near that. It's better to start a little bit away from that than too close. and everything as well. I'm just coming in a little bit deeper because I did that first one real nice and light. And I'm doing one direction. 
one a lot lighter than I normally do. to go wider on the Dremel. So we're going to move that around a little bit more. And I do this outside with a towel on my lap just to, we had a wet one earlier which would be easier to pick all this up with. We'll just kind of move this to the side for now. And that way when I'm done I just shake it all off. So I'm going to go around this a little bit more as well. And don't touch this part. This part is spinning and it will warm up on you. there. See how we're getting in there now and it's fitting down into the gourd so that it's nice and laid in. I'm going to do a little bit more on the bottom. If you put it too big then it's going to slip and slide on you. If you do it too big and you're going to use that then go ahead and paint that background either black or the color of your stone. that it doesn't get away from us. That's 
real important because it will jump off and and attack your gourd and make dips in your board. So that is it perfectly. We have that all nice and set in. And of course you wouldn't have the varnish issues. So see we've got that all nice and nicely tucked in. That stone is sticking right in there so we've put that in. And it's really neat look and you don't you can add so much to it now you can do whatever you want to another thing is putting these on the inside of my designs on a lot of them you could inlay the stone first and then put the design work around the outside so that's a another really neat thing to do with it now we go ahead and complete this off first you're going to go ahead and finish your gourd varnish it I would not varnish this part right here that we dremeled out I would leave that natural Put your E6000 in here and glue your stone in and let it dry for 24 hours. It should stay pretty um, stiff and um, in the stone pretty well. If it doesn't, put a couple pieces of, of uh, painter's tape over it to hold your stone on while it's drying or set it straight up and just let it dry that way. Now this stone is one of the ones that we have in the Miriam Joy um, website right now we have some really really nice stones this is actually magnesite which actually ends up having the same consistency by the time they get in coloring it as the real turquoise does um, it's an interesting story so it really looks like the turquoise and it's got the cracks and everything in it which I really like the cracks and the natural look instead of just a complete one uh, color stone so there's all different shapes and sizes. Um, there's some bigger ones. There's a lot smaller ones. We got some new abalone shells in. But this also helps you take what you've got. And you could do a bead if you wanted to that was kind of flat and do it as well. You just want to sink it enough that only half of it was showing and your bead holes didn't show up as much. But take whatever you have and use it as well. So um, visit my website for more of these wonderful stones at mariamjoy.com. If you have any questions about anything we did here today, please email me at art at mariamjoy.com. And please, I love your suggestions. What do you want to see for the videos? What do you need help with? Or another fun project that we can do. Thank you and God bless. Mm -hmm.